Back here at Alterowitz Gym, halftime of this MSUB men's basketball game. Jackets leading the Nanooks of Alaska, 40 to 39. Now during halftime of the women's game, we caught up with Tanya Halkman, the Hall of Fame women's basketball player for the Yellow Jackets. And now we've got the other two members of the 2017 MSUB Hall of Fame induction class, Sam and Tom Milroy. Now, it wasn't always Sam Milroy, it was Sam Beam when you started you two met here, fell in love, and it's a fairy book ending, right, guys? They're going to make a movie about us soon, I think. And I'll play stars myself. Well, with all the interviews you guys have had to do this week, that's the next step. you got to hit it for Hollywood. <laughs> Talk about what it's like being back here in Billings. I know it's been a, an exciting weekend for you guys, uh, culminating with the ceremony last night. Uh, just talk about what it's like to be back. It's amazing. I think that Billings is a really special place. We haven't been back in five years or so, yeah. and yeah. coming back just brings all the memories. Um, our best friends are here. We met here. We have such good relationships with the athletic staff still. Krista, our coach John came, my coach John came back. So um, it's just great. It's been a really good weekend. It's cool because we used to come to these games, you know, we went here on, on, on Friday nights and things like that and watch, you know, watch the basketball games and hang out. And, and you know, we've got some of our friends here who we've played with here tonight too. So it's, it's kind of reliving a lot of stuff mm -hmm. that we, we did when we were in school here. And, um, it's just a cool occasion for us to come back, and we're really excited to be here. A chance to reminisce. Does yeah. it feel different now that you're you're on the other side? You guys are official. You're Hall of Famers now. You've been inducted. What does it feel like being back in this gym now with that kind of on? Oh, it's fantastic. They're including in this gym, playing now, playing before. There's so many fantastic student athletes that come through. So it's it's a really big honor to be here. It's. We know that Billings is one of a one of a kind place, and it's really nice to be recognized. Yeah, I think you look at some of the people on the list last night who were already in the Hall of Fame. It's pretty cool to be in with those people, some of whom we we saw play, you know, in different sports here. Um, so, you know, in the future, when people you know get inducted in and they see us in here, hopefully they can see us with those people too, and that's, that's a really cool. Thing. It's really nice. Yeah. Now, Tom was a men's soccer player. Sam was on the women's soccer side of things. Tom, our men's soccer team won nine games this year, and we felt like we were right on the verge of getting into a regional tournament. Your best year, you guys won 13 games and didn't get in. I, it's hard for me to fathom that, but just talk about uh, being on some of those successful teams that you guys were at the top of the league. Yeah, 2007 season, uh, my sophomore year was uh, probably the best year this, this program's had, you know, still to date. And we won 13 games. We beat SPU uh, at home, which is the first time I think the program had done that. Uh, we were fourth going into the last week of uh, the season, so we, we expected to be picked in that top four and, and only just lost out. So uh, some of us still take that pretty hard uh, from that from that group. But um, you know, I think that laid the foundation for the team now, and so they can see that hey, there's, there's teams that have been here and won this amount of games already, and we're close to that. And, I know uh, Alex is doing a good job of trying to be that be that group that, that break that barrier and get into the tournament, uh, just like Sam's team did her senior year. So. Yeah, that's right. You teed me up for my next question. <laughs> that, that Sam gets to hold over you. She got to a regional. Yeah. The, the one and only regional the women's soccer program is, has ever been to here. And not only did you get there, you won a game. Uh, talk about being a senior captain, having come back from a torn ACL earlier in your career, and piloting that team to the most historic win in MSUB soccer history? Uh, if there's ever a silver lining to tearing your ACL, that was it, for sure, because um, I wouldn't have been there without that injury. But, no, that season was a nail-biter game by game by game. Um, you know, I remember when we'd lose a game and think it was done, and then we'd win a game and somebody else would lose one, and it was just back and forth. And I remember, um, you know, being in the room right over here watching the selection show, and our name was called, and it was the best experience of my life so far. I mean... And working so hard for five years up to that point and getting our name called was amazing. Then to go to Seattle, play Cal State LA, and beat them, it just kept getting sweeter and sweeter. That team was a really special team. Our senior class was really tight, really strong, and it was just the icing on, a cake, on the cake for five really kind of challenging, tough, but fulfilling years here at MCB. Last night at the Hall of Fame ceremony, Jordan Devoto got up and said a few words. She's a sophomore from Wilson, Montana on the women's soccer team. She and Jessica 
Chang were at your table there, a couple of defensive players. What was the conversation like with, with them? What did, what did you see in them? Were there bits of yourself? And what was that like, uh, getting to talk to some fan players? Definitely. I was a little bit jealous because they're living the best part of their lives right now in terms of being a student athlete at MSCB. But, um, you know, it was great. It was fun to, I think, for them to kind of see the future of what they could have in terms of um, lifelong friendships, um, you know, seeing your teammates now have children run around everywhere. Um, and I think for me, it was really fun to see the light in their eyes and see how passionate and strong they are to be at this place and, and work as hard as they can as a student athlete. Now you're both at Texas A&M University. Talk about um, what it's like, Tom, being able to work there and, and your experience at MSUB, how that's helped you. And, and you're still working in sports. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've always tried to stay involved with college athletics. I've been lucky enough to do that. And uh, now at Texas A&M, you know, I think Sam and I talk about this all the time, that what, the things we learned in Billings and the values we got from being part of this, this university um, has really set us up to be successful in terms of how we carry ourselves, the things we learned about being a student athlete, uh, working hard and respecting each other, respecting staff and people we work with, and the people of Billings that helped us do that, let us do that now in our jobs. And I think it's um, something that we can relate about a lot. And, um, you know, the things that happen with student athletes at that time, they're four or five years here, we just want to make sure that they know that Billings is a special place. You won't forget the years that you're here. And whatever you learn here, you'll go on and use that when you leave. And, uh, we've definitely both done that. So. And Sam, you're in charge of the 12th Man Foundation for Texas A&M. You were telling me earlier um, that you have a little different perspective having been a student athlete. So you really know what it means while you're doing your job. Like, what's at stake there in the type of work that you do? Definitely. It's, it's really nice to be on the end of, other end of it and understand what it takes to be successful as a student athlete. So it's fun for me to be able to kind of um, be a part of an organization that provides extra resources know, as their time when they're focusing on games and tests and studying and homework and all that kind of stuff. There you have it, MSUB's Hall of Fame soccer couple, Sam and Tom Milroy, inducted freshly on Friday evening. You're watching MSUB basketball here on the Yellow Jacket Sports Network. We're going to take a quick break and bring you the second half. Yellow Jackets leading Alaska 40-39. to Stay tuned.